I think most of you guys use Dong Feng buses, either buses, trucks, and if you like most is made in China, that is Dong Feng brand. I'm here, this behind is the factory, the main factory of Dong Feng in Hubei. First impression is the way they say it's all about the reality. The funny thing about this car, like, you can't even stand. You see, like, uh, the car, I'm inside the, the, the truck. But because it's like a big and tall, you can just stand and you are free comfortable. It's not like you have to bend. You can even take shower. In the case you want to take shower or wash your teeth, take in shower, it's equipped with everything. And here you can regulate the, the temperature, also for the water. the speciality of this car when this car is moving it's used the AI sensors so whenever it's moving it knows to stay on the lane and know if there's a car when it can uh, bypass or not Do you wonder the type of the bus that you use in your country? I think most of you guys use Dong Feng buses, either buses, trucks, and if you like most is made in China, that is Dong Feng brand. In today's video, I'm here, this behind is the factory, the main factory of Dong Feng in Hubei. Today we are going to check mostly the speciality, the technology, and why this Dong Feng is popular worldwide. In my country, most of the buses we use, public transport, uh, cars are from Dongfeng. So today we are going to check mostly about their trucks and the buses. Are you ready? Let's go. What do you think about these Chinese buses, Dongfeng and everything? So we are going to see what is the speciality of this brand. So this is the, the factory outside. And then we are going inside to check experience center. This is more of experience center. This welcome to Dong Feng trucks. Guys, look just for hint of what we are going to observe soon. So in a few minutes, we will be exploring the speciality of these Dong Feng trucks. Should 通过更可靠的品质车路获得互通互联
，用奋斗共筑可靠。因为可靠，所以卓越。东风品牌，中国力量。在中国品牌的成长中，在百年品牌的塑造中，与您彼此信赖，携手同行。So now it's time to go inside and explore the speciality of these trucks. This is the entrance. The first impression: this is military, old military car, Chinese military car. And this is another one, GX. In general, Dongfeng started as a brand for making military cars, but right now it's mostly doing more for uh, like normal trucks. And they say in the uh, 1980s, it was more for like a domestic transportation. And right now, most of the time, like uh, they improved, of course. Like uh, this, this brand has experience or history of more than 50 years. So this here is uh, their uh, all other exhibition. This is most of like a military, military truck. See the way it is like uh, they designed this one. Even with the, some loungers like lockets, locket on it. And I don't know if it can open. This is inside. Now I can't believe it. I'm already inside this military, old military car that they, this Dongfeng brand used to mine for, like to produce. You see the way it was like you know this like old old cars, and uh, this is the car. It was a seat of maybe eight like four people, and this one for seven people. I mean seven soldiers, military. So what do you think? Now I'm already in this car. They say they designed this car around like 50 years ago. Welcome to Dongfeng brand. So now, uh, now we saw this of uh, old metal truck, and now we are going to check mostly like a modern transport truck. This is for military that they designed in the past, but right now they mostly for more like a focus on commercial trucks. So we are going to check what's the modern technology we can find in these new trucks. Let's go is uh, the modern one. Before I enter, I want to show you the outside. This is the look outside. And you see the tires. This is the, the new model of GX. So I have the curiosity to see the inside. How does it look inside? So now we are going to check inside. You guys, are you ready? So this is the, it's even to climb it's, uh, it's, it's really high, <laughs> but I will try. Guys, so now we we'll go inside. Here, the first thing I like is the seat. The seat is more of a, like you can feel comfortable when you sit on it and this is the steering wheel for the car. The screen that can show you that the door is open. So, for example, if we close the door, I didn't close it well. So now I close the door, and this is inside. And uh, this can be the seat for your your companion when you are driving. And this is the bed. Actually, the bed even is more comfortable. Yeah. You can you can sleep here. This is good. Uh, so what do you think about this truck? Where you can put your phone, you have a screen here, have your you can put like uh, the drinks, in case you have some drinks. And this is the, the other seat of the other person. And there you have like uh, the main area where maybe people, if you have, uh, like, let's say, if you are almost maybe, let's say you are, four people or three people in the car. One is sitting on one side and you are driving on the other side and this person is sleeping. If the person is sleeping, wanna wake up, he or she can just sit like this and see nice screen 
and looks good. So this is Dongfeng GX brand. Let me know in a comment. What do you think about this car? For me, the first thing I like the most, apart from uh, being automatic and everything, is about the seat. The seat is more comfortable. It's like as if you are sitting in the office. <laughs> you can never get tired or have the issue of the back because this one is so nice. And then this is in the case you want to start the engine. Like it's just automatic. You can start the engine here. And the car is automatic, so you have the drive, you have return, you have neutral, you can decide, you have parking, you can decide the option you want to use. So I was saying this is just more for like automatic car, so it's easy to drive this car and it's more of modern. The screen, everything, the steering wheel, the, the technology inside, the seat. Let me know. This for me, I think this is the best experience. And you see guys, the funny thing about this car, like, you can even stand. You see, like, uh, the car, I'm inside the, the, the truck. But because it's, like, a big and tall, you can just stand and you are free comfortable. It's not like you have to bend down yourself. So good. And the way you can just keep your luggages, your necessities, you can just keep them there. And this one is in the case you want to, to sleep. And then, as I mentioned... And enjoy my favorite. My favorite is the seat of this car. Yeah. So here, it's about more of the engine these trucks use. Why these trucks are powerful and the best for end load, either offside or on road. Why they are the best? It's because of these engines. You see the engine of the trucks. This they called DDI 11. With a uh, the weight of 965 kg and the power is 2240 and this is DDI 16 and it can this one can generate the power of uh, 550 kilometer per hour kilowatt per hour sorry guys 550 kilowatt per hour this one which is DD, DGI 13, it has the weight of 1,030 kilograms. And this is the design, like I did show the design like inside. So let's go inside and see. <laughs> is it because they, these trucks are too tall to, to climb? It's like you are just going to the second floor. So this is the truck, the seat, as we say, most of the seats are just uh, like this, very really comfortable and the cars are automatic. So it will always be easier for you to drive. Can you imagine that all those trucks I show you here in China, the price is more, like it's around 400,000 RMB. 400,000 RMB, uh, it's around 50,000 50, US dollar. 50,000 US dollars just to buy that big truck. Imagine, very affordable. But I heard if you are going to export it or to buy it maybe in Europe or America, it may be a bit expensive because you will add tax. More of tax, like you know, especially like in America when you import like cars from China, tax may be high. But here in China, very affordable. It's like almost the same price like a buying Tesla. <laughs> this Tesla Model Y or Model 3. Imagine owning that smart truck for yourself at the, almost the same price like the one for Tesla. So imagine sleeping in truck like this one, where you can cross and you will sleep here. And when you wake up in the morning, you will just wash your face. You wash your face, brush your teeth. Here, you check your face here. This is the mirror, you see? Big mirror actually. This is the mirror that maybe even uh, the morning ladies can use it right and you can also take a shower you can like get the heat you see like here you can just increase or decrease depends on how you want it it's like a more of ac in the inside the truck so what do you think about this truck for me I was amazed with this truck especially that most of these new trucks in this gx factory all of them use 5G and they use intelligence. 
for sensing like uh, when you are riding like a uh, it can just go for autopilot. It knows if there's any car or any, any obstacle in front of you, it will know when to stop. And if you are driving and you get dizzy or you get tired, it will detect that, then it can stop on offside, offload. What do you think? It's the speciality of this car. When this car is moving, it will, it will know like the, it will use the AI sensors. So whenever it's moving, it knows to stay on the lane and know if there's a car, when it can uh, bypass or not. And you see here, they just show the more you approach the distance, the car will know like when to reduce the speed so it will not hit in front car or to go to the other side. This is the modern technology. And let's say the car is approaching, it's like 30 meters and uh, a person is crossing. When the car reaches here, indicate the sensors, it will stop. And in the case, let's say this is the modern technology that they were telling us about Tesla. In the case you are driving and you get tired, when the car sensors realize or the camera realizes that you are tired, you are feeling sleepy, automatically the car will go in um, a hazard, right? That's like when there is this bumping lights on the fourth side, and then it will go aside and park itself, which is the best and the best way for safety. So, guys, now we are done exploring these Dongfeng trucks. It was more of a showroom to show the technology of these trucks, the speciality, the prices, where we realize that most of these trucks here with your 40 to 50,000 RMB US dollar, you can just get one. The new zero kilometer, the brand new. So let me know what you think. So now we are done. We are going to another place. So if you really enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Please, the most important, write your comment. Let me know what you think about this video. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao.